Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Hey guys, uh, let's go. No intro. Link to the original video, top of the description. Let's go. The cash machine. That oh, they have and sorted out grease. Why is it at five minutes? Did I do that by accident? No, you halfwit. <laughs> There's no diesel in this village, but there is diesel in the next village. So we use the horses to ride Content. to the next village, get the diesel, bring it back to the trucks. Brilliant producers. Not in a western. I can't ride a horse. Well, you what? Well, I might have been pony trekking when I was eight, but, you know. Well, it'll be in there, won't it? Pony trekking? Well, I wouldn't use that one there if he's going to ride anything. Holy moly! <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, man! In Burma. YouTube, is that... Am I going to get... Maybe it's so it can milk itself. Guys, that was that was not what you think it was. She was back. <laughs> she spent all day looking at a horse's <laughs> willy. <laughs> <assuming> <laughs> <you can>. Urban <laughs> camo. I when... just realized what James said. I gotta stop pausing. Might be Arctic actually. Arctic urban camo. And yeah, I mean there's a rough edge here and there, but, but for a first attempt, I think it's pretty crisp. Oh, the genius. Uh, what? Hello. <laughs> yeah, but mate, it's <laughs> has the constitutional power to declare war on another country, but she never does. Even after a big party Me. where she's a bit... And all that makes her egging her on. Go on, ladies, declare war on someone. Does she really do that? Yes, she can do that, but she doesn't. Does she get... I mean, is that Mr. Lalonde? This is the Queen. <laughs> war! I do that every week. <laughs> she could do that. I'd be constant. I'd do it every... Oh, God, what I've done. Yeah, I would love to be a drunk queen. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I was kind of already giggly before I started the video, so gotta tone it down. She can't actually, though. Like, right? Because someone would be like, no. Right? I didn't mean. We know. Jesus! Clarkson! Class. What? Funny. Very funny. Yes. I don't like heights. I don't like camping. I don't like snoring. <laughs> anyway, should we get on? I've seen this. I've gone again. In the plums. This, well, I brought this because I like it. Well, hang on, you've just... No, I like it. This is brilliant, <laughs> but I like this. Let me put it to you this way, Hammond. That's you can buy Volkswagen. better dogs than my West Highland Terrier. But I like my West Highland Terrier. Yes, it bites the postman, and it lays dog eggs all over the kitchen, and it steals food, but it's brilliant! And it goes, ah, ah. If this had ears, dog. it'd go like that. <laughs> Hammond, we can't, there's nothing to be gained by it. Hammond, you idiot! You reversed into the sports lorry! That is a large <laughs> truck. Broken it. I really, I didn't know genuinely that was an accident. Don't just drive off, Hammond. Hammond. <laughs> Hammond. It keeps oh. broken my headlights. <laughs> oh. Radiator. <laughs> my ball bar's broken. Are these all to rub onto your bits? Yes. Yes, they are. Is that Show normal? Yeah, they even have one for women. The women's bottoms different to men's bottoms. I think so. Really? Yeah. Having hairy. selected the correct cream, I went to apply it in the changing Less room. Less hairy. All right. <laughs> not, not hairless. Sorry. This made everything worse. Oh. Run away! These were too perfect. That was too perfect. You know someone threw that up, all right? <laughs> Put the uh, the audio in the background. And what do you think chances are of him waking up? Really? He won't wake him. He sleeps the sleep of the dead. 
So that's in neutral and that's... Yeah. Guys, hydraulics are fascinating, right? Because that's how the thing is. That's going to weigh so much. And they're designed to do that when it's full to dump the load out. I'm such an... But hydraulics are fascinating. I want to learn more. That's how your brake works, too. How can I just press my brake pedal with a bit of force on my foot and it's strong enough to to stop the wheels or do this or hydraulics are so cool and i know nothing about them but i want to know a bit off topic but i couldn't help it hammond yes this is an ssa team nicknamed the satan it was targeted ross on why was it that's what that says. Oh no, hang on a minute though. It says alternative target, Chipsky Norton there. Chipsky <laughs> Norton. <laughs> I, think, I think it must be damp. <laughs> Don't even joke. <laughs> I know it's not I know it's not gonna go off, but it's still sketchy. The one in, I think, Namibia, where he got slammed on his back with the rope tug. Oh, that was scary. That was the, I've seen other injuries on the show. That was, that was the scariest one because it, it hit so horribly. James Ed. Oh, no, yes. no, no. <laughs> oh, my. That's a remarkable accident. Because look. Oh, jeez, no. Your windscreens can actually come this, out. This is a disaster now the breeze will be nice predictably when we got back james was overflowing with sympathy <laughs> <laughs> did you headbutt it but look <laughs> but that's exactly why I was late this morning because I pulled up behind the car that was at the pump yeah. ready for my turn and I knew who it was through the window it was a woman she was doing the whole weekly grocery shop <laughs> and, it was, and she came out with the four massive carrier bags and I thought well that's finally it now and then she went to the cash machine and, oh, and sorted out Greece's national debt with her card and a lot done <laughs> I mean, I am a patient man, but I me, mean, even I, I was thinking, I want to put your head in a brown paper bag and bludgeon you to death with the blunt end of an axe. And that's... That, that's... <laughs> Quite bad. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh, my doves have escaped. My doves have got out. What doves? What do you mean, got out? My doves from my magic box. They're all over the back, they've crapped everywhere. Upset by the mess, OCD May ejected the culprit. Oh my God, there's a lorry going to hit the... That is an ex dove <laughs> Yeah, now you see the truck that hit your dove, James. How good are you at magic? Seriously, did it not fly away? You're not going to do children's parties, are you? Because you're going to have to change your act if you are. <laughs> Jesus. I got to pee really bad. I, I should have done it before. One sec. Of James. Uh, all right. Wash my hands. I'm good. How good are you at magic? Seriously, did it not fly away? You're not going to do children's parties, are you? Because you're going to have to change your act if you are. <laughs> Oh, his face is yeah. priceless. I'm afraid James has totally wasted his time bringing that crane here.
surely they had to. What was that? It fell over, James. Do you see what where they? The show bought them two cranes just to mess around with them. That's insane and kind of funny. Hold on a minute. What? Do you see where the end of your jib landed? I'd only walk back to see where the pile was. If I'd still been standing there, it'd have taken my head off, you madman. It almost over. killed me. <laughs> what do you mean it fell over? It doesn't, they don't fall over, crane lorries. They don't fall over well, on the motorway. Well, it has done, hasn't it? What do you mean it doesn't You've fall over? You've it over. Your crane is too small, so I've got a bigger one to reach further into right. the river. My crane is too small. Yes. That's punishable by death, is it? <laughs> Wait, uh... And I love... Like the bamboo thatched plate sun helmet. I'm loving it and I want it. Your crane is too small, so I've got a bigger one to reach further into right. the river. My crane is too small. Yes. That's punishable by death, is it? Wait, uh, we've had the Formula <laughs> One testing uh, all last week, as I'm sure you know. Important this year, the testing, because there's so many new rules. The cars now have to have 1.6 litre engines, they have to have narrower ah. wings and sex aids on the front. Don't be stupid, they don't have to... That's they do! You make they, hello, have a look at this, the catering. That's a sex aid on the front! Oh, no! <laughs> we got a close-up on the Toro Rosso. Okay, I've asked this a bunch of times. Catering? That's... But... Oh, God. But... <laughs> These are really for air intake, and they work like a jet. I'm wrong, it's not a jet engine. And you guys have told me this at least three times before. Um, so how does an air intake on a car work if it's not the same? A jet engine, the air intake is to, like, the air, the air, the air, air has oxygen, and so it pumps that into the fuel and makes it extra, uh, you know, thrust. So this, same idea, I guess? It's a sex aid same idea, just in a car engine. <laughs> okay. On the front! Oh, no! We've got a, we've got a close up on the Toro Rosso. Oh, God! <laughs> you wouldn't want to be rear ended by that, would you? That's Because <laughs> you think about it, you get in the car, strap yourself in, and there it is. It's a strap on, basically. It's formula, formula strap one. Formula, strap, formula one. strap one is what it is. What is the need for it? <laughs> Here's a scenario, you're racing towards the, the finish line, neck and neck, you yeah. want to cross the line first. It's good if you could extend the front yeah. bit. And Up maybe into the are, exhaust. I don't know, let's say having trouble extending the bit at the front. <laughs> they could have a little blue triangular button on the steering wheel that you could press. And then... V-power! Yes! There it is! For about an hour and a half, it, it, it's long. <laughs> With the pain getting worse... Ooh. Ow, ow! I had to make an emergency stop. Please may I use your lavatories? My scrotum is on fire. Have you ever put toothpaste on your scrotum? I feel like Jer Jeremy Clarkson is one of those people that is undisguisable. Like, you don't need to, like, boom. It, it is just notice as noticeably Jeremy Clarkson as it is without the goggles and helmet. He, it's just his whole profile is just Jeremy Clarkson. Oh. Have you ever put toothpaste on your scrotum? No, sir. This is a, this is a hotel. In the bar, James did another trick that went wrong. Ta -da. I'm afraid not. Salt and pepper trick, guys. If you're ever at a restaurant, all right, it's super easy. It gets them every time. I forget where I learned it. Get a napkin. Put it over the salt, the salt or the pepper shaker, all right, if there's one there. And then move it around like you're going to have it disappear. So the... The napkin takes the form of the salt and pepper shaker and then just move it off the table and it drops, but it still keeps the form. And then just like, no. And then just slap the paper down. Works every time, okay? Just don't have the salt or pepper shaker fall onto the floor. Put it onto your lap. It's so great because I suck at magic stuff, but it, it's impossible to mess up because it just works so well. You just, just do it. Trust me. You can't change. Not like on a date or actually maybe. I don't know. That went wrong. Just like a cool thing. Why am I explaining? And in the bar, James did another trick that went wrong. Ta -da. That was not a date trick. It was just like with your friends. 
sorry. I'm afraid not. No, you can't change your mind not. about the card you chose. That was the card you, you chose. Can't tell me what card I chose. But I know you chose that because I read your mind. Magicians are supposed to exercise a degree of finesse, not just bullying. No, it's still not. No, it is. That's it what it wasn't. It wasn't. Martin! <laughs> Funny! You're funny man. We were even funny. Part of me really wants to sleep that way, like in a hanging tent. Hopefully, a little bit more level, stable. And getting him back in. No, I think it's the red one. Is it the red one? I don't know. Uh, right. So hang on, I've got one with like a circle. This one looks this, like an onion. This one. That, that bottom one swivels. No, the bottom. Just oh, fall into the lake. Lake. river. <laughs> In a long clock, isn't it? Oh, sorry, James. I'm way too talkative right now, but I don't care. Um, I loved one of the great things about living in a place where at one point I did where it, you had a pool, right? Is that you, it's a lot more, it's not like a, what, just waking up that way is the best way ever. Or like in the ocean. Just waking up, you're kind of groggy. Just jump in the pool or in like the bay or the ocean if you're close to it. And it's just the best way to wake up, in my opinion. Obviously, if it's salt water, you want to shower after. The, the of this river. I just I could have said that so much simpler. Today, that simpler. simpler. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Ah. Now I've received a letter. <clears throat> May I just read it to you, dear Mr. Clarkson? You're gonna love this. I'm writing to you on behalf of the world famous Madame to Swords. Oh, oh they're God. not going to. Yes, they are. Oh, I'm joking. Yes, oh, they no. are. Mr. Clarkson, you're gonna love this. I'm writing to you on behalf of the world famous Madame to Swords. Oh, oh they're God. not going to. Yes, they are. Oh, I'm joking. Yes, they oh, are. Oh, no. Wait. They say they. I have been highly requested, highly requested to be immortalized in wax. <laughs> Are you sure that doesn't say immersed in wax? <laughs> no, immortalized in wax. How are they going to immortalize? You can't, how can you immortalize you in wax? Right, how, you, wax is a very, it's the joke. Why am I explaining the joke? You can't be immortalized in wax. Just forget it. I can't believe I'm explaining the joke that, ah, sorry. I need Are you to, sure that doesn't say immersed in wax? <laughs> Immortalized in wax. How are they going to immortalize you in wax? Where are they going to get all the wax? <laughs> Presumably they'll have to melt down everything else in Madame Two Swords to make one massive, hideous wax dummy. Of a hideous dummy. Then it's easy. They just get a very big candle, they light it, let it drip down the edges for a couple of hours, and then just draw a face on it with a felt tip. <laughs> <laughs> that would look a bit like a couple of hours, and then just draw a face on it with a felt tip. <laughs> That was genuinely super quick and witty and funny, and he, <laughs> and he knows it. That would look a bit like it. And what are they going to do with it when they've got it? Imagine children, we go to Madame Tussauds, we go to, what is it? Ah! <laughs> it's going to be the, the first waxworks in history to be sculpted with a pickaxe. Yes, and a hammer. <laughs> yeah. I want to see them sculpting it, because imagine once they've melted down enough wax, which is a lot, the size of the urn, it'll look like a scene from Lord of the Rings, with all these little <laughs> orcs <laughs> walking around the bottom, they're getting ready for that big paw to create this hideous, hideous, grotesque, enormous thing. How are they going to fit it? I love how Jeremy is just silent and letting him go, just letting him finish. It's a great, this hideous, hideous, grotesque, enormous thing. How are they going to fit it in? No, don't put it there. Put it in the Natural History Museum. <laughs> <laughs> Better still. Here we go. I love them. It, this is one of those scenarios where it's not hindsight. How, I want to know the expectations. I don't know how popular the new Top Gear is. I don't even know. Maybe it is good. Not for me. I haven't even watched it. Because... It's not, I'm not a car person, okay? I'm not a car person at all. Who, do I like nice cars? Who doesn't like a nice anything, okay? Sure. But I love it because I love them. They're all individually funny, and they're a perfect uh, trio. Just perfect. And I want to know what their expectations of viewership were when they got rid of them, for whatever reason. I don't know. <laughs> Better still. Here 
Here we go. Pushing, pushing. Got him. He's just driven off. <laughs> I need a drink. Go. Pushing, pushing. The hat. Got him. He looks like Harry Enfield in the teenager skit, skit, sketch, skit. He's just driven off. As the hours crawled by, we tried many things. Stop him! Stop him, Constable! Oh, How's that gonna help? Mm. What are you going to do if the doors are locked? You can't pull a man out of a car. This isn't a rest. Action. Why is he dressed up as Hitler? Because cyclists you do. need to be visible. Christ on a bike. Cyclists need to be visible. Oh God, I'm Why is he dressed up as Hitler? Because cyclists need to be visible. Christ on a bike. James, you can't do that. Yes, I can. Oh no. Oh, Stop it. Wait a second. What did you? Stop it, James! Hold on, stop it! Stop it. Get it! Guys, it's it's difficult to tell like where is like hmm, that's a good idea by the producers that would be entertaining or like what naturally happens because I'm sure that happens a lot on on the show or happened a lot. If you have three entertaining people like they are, then a lot of stuff is going to come naturally. But any show you need it to be entertaining, you're gonna kind of manufacture some disasters, right? This is the point where it's like you know it'd be better. Than like just having clips of you guys making a full successful bridge of bamboo. If half of it just caved in and it floated you all down the river. Genius. Hold on. Hold no. And I'll never understand the the uh, jeep over that sketchy bridge. Cause that wasn't fake. That was real. You could tell. Like I, I was I was looking. I'm like, oh, they got a stunt driver for this. No. And. What safety is there to you falling off a bridge in a car? Nothing. No! It's overboard! How the hell are we ever going to... This is hopeless. This is worse! Abandoned bridge! No, I'm not. I'm getting back. No. You know what would be a great, uh, a great job is having one of their three jobs, right? But the second greatest job would be being a... It was a great video, as always, obviously. Uh, thanks guys for watching but being a producer or like director slash someone on set i would be so good at looking at scenarios or like where they're failing and it's like instead of giving them tips to like hey you might want to support that bridge more i'll just like hey just like let it carry out because it'd be better television and that'd be the second best job i guess after their job um I'm gonna, it's been a while since I watched these videos, so I'm going to watch a Grand Tour video right now after this. Uh, love you guys. Hope you're all doing well. If you're still here, uh, appreciate it. Would appreciate any comments, and I'll see you guys next video. All right? Bye, guys.